guys, I am making some lunch and I'm making spaghetti. But it's pretty much made the same way. I'm making some tacos and I put spaghetti sauce in here to kind of like gives it, it kind of gives it more like a sweet taste. The um, veggie crumbles, so I'm going to add some more cumin to give it more of a smoky taco flavor. So I already used some crushed red peppers, some uh, chili powder, and paprika. So I'm just adding some more of this cumin. Because that is like, to me, the number one ingredient for when you're making like chili and stuff like that. So and I added some onion powder. And now I'm going to add some Italian herbs and just make it taste really, really good. And add a little bit more water to it. And I'm going to add some salt. Blend it out a little bit more. Also use bacon grease um, in here. So let's turn this down. And it really just thickens it up a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Do what it do. This is what we're working with. And then we have some tomatoes and some um, lettuce and taco shells. There we go. It is ready. And um, as far as like, let's see. Where are the tomatoes? I just want to hit some. That might just be it. I thought I had some tomatoes in here. Mm -mm. Out of tomatoes. Well, I guess we'll just have to work with what we have. And that will be it. We got some avocados. Then we'll use the avocados and um, taco shells, lettuce, and I'm going to go ahead and cook up the um, avocados. Some of you guys have also wondered like what I like to cook with in the kitchen, what spices, what am I using currently, and I thought I might show you what I like using. So here we go. And why I like to use them. So I'm gonna show you some of the seasonings that I like currently. Well actually, well some are currants, but some are just, you know, like typical um, staples so let me set you guys here all right so um, lately I have this everything bagel seasoning it's from stone meal and I actually got this from Aldi you can get it from anywhere pretty much but you could put it on like on the picture it says um, it shows avocado toast with like cream cheese something like that um, I like using this because it gives it, you know, whatever you're cooking, like a nutty um, flavor, but lightly salted. And it has, okay, here we go, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, regular sesame seeds rather, and um, sea salt. So this is what I'm currently using. I've been using this on and off for, I guess, about two months, okay? Also, um, a staple in our in our home is just regular Himalayan salt. I don't know if this is real, real, real Himalayan salt because ever since we've been using Himalayan salt for, I mean, way before it became popular, it was hard to find and now it's like everywhere. And I don't know if it's necessarily uh, pure because, you know, everybody's got it now. Uh, to the point where you're just seeing it everywhere and it's saltier I noticed than it used to be so I don't know what's that about but Himalayan salt and this is also stone meal um, at Aldi and it's pretty cheap now maybe that's why because everybody can get it now I don't know um, also we use turmeric ground turmeric I like to use turmeric in teas um, soups eggs and uh, see anything else 
pretty much just like, you know, if I'm making like a soup or something like that, um, I like to throw it in there. It's, uh, does, it doesn't really like taste good, you know, but it's something that I know is very good for you. So if I make like a turmeric tea, I'll add some of this and some water and make it hot. Just put it in the microwave, may add some lemon juice or something like that, squeeze some lemon. So I like to use this. And I also use garlic powder for everything. You know, we love garlic powder. So this is definitely a staple. Parsley, we love parsley. Fresh parsley, we do have some grown outside. So I use that too. Um, but this is definitely a staple, must have. Italian seasonings, must have. You know, it's got like, of course, it's got like rosemary, basil, savory sage, which you ha we also have growing outside in the back. Um, let's see, and it's thyme in here, so that's a staple. We use cinnamon, but I don't use cinnamon every day. Only like if I'm making like certain desserts is what I use cinnamon for, or maybe for coffee. Every blue moon I might have a little bit of my coffee. If I'm trying to drink like black coffee or something, I may sprinkle a little cinnamon. Um, cumin, I love using cumin on like meaty dishes, or like if I'm gonna make like, you just saw earlier tacos, I like to make, you know, have this in the taco meat, the sauce, also, uh, spaghetti, I may add it to the spaghetti meat sauce or whatever. And there's one more thing, chili. I like using cumin for chili. And paprika, I use paprika all the time, all dishes. Stir fries, soups, meaty dishes, whatever, eggs, we use that a lot. Those are staples too. That's a staple. Red pepper flakes. Use this all the time. I also like to use this in my um, eggs and just pretty much anything I'm cooking, you know, just to give it a little spice, a little heat, I add some crushed pepper. Also onion powder. Um, I love using this and I use it in like a lot of like if I'm cooking fr fresh frozen vegetables I love adding um, onion powder it's really good and you know it just kind of wakens up whatever you're cooking also have some fresh cloves this is the um, powder right here I thought it was the actual cloves but sometimes I'll put this in my tea it smells really good too. or like if I'm making like a pie or whatever like sweet potato pie whatever it's nice to have you know when you need it some ground cloves not something you use every day but you know when you need it when you you know you got it so also chili powder I think I might have showed this earlier I don't know but anyway that is what I use also use I have some mesquite marinade flavor um, if I'm making like a veggie burger some veggie burgers for the family I like to always have a packet of mesquite seasoning mix this is great to give your burger like a real nice uh, grilled flavor. Also, let's see, do I have any liquid smoke? I like using liquid smoke. Um, let me see if I have some. Hmm. Nope, I am out. But liquid smoke is another thing that I like to keep on hand because it really makes your meat dishes and soup dishes it takes it to a whole nother level it's really really good and um yeah so these are some of the seasonings that i like to use on an everyday basis and some are definitely or most are definitely staples in our household all right you guys this right here is what i was telling you guys about the avocado i was thinking about making these to go with the um taco meat which i call spaghetti earlier but i'm not making spaghetti because you know spaghetti uh pasta is not our typical normal everyday low carb diet food i mean keno she'll eat it but nobody else well jazzy will eat it but jazzy is not here a lot so she's out with her either she's working or she's with her boyfriend 
or she's at school majority of the time every you know because my daughter is a full-time college student they spend a lot of their time with their boyfriends girlfriends and that's what's going on in this house so um so it's just a lot of times me my husband and Keno and pasta is not something that we cook a lot of but for now I am going to go ahead and cook up the avocado and I'll show you how I do it. So I just turn on my stove and just open up the packet of frozen avocado. And I think I found this frozen avocado um, a couple of years ago around the pandemic. I think I saw it <clears throat> at Walmart and then I've just been buying it ever since. And this one here came from um, Aldi. So it's definitely a convenient thing to have. I like to throw it in um, eggs, you know, if I'm making the hubby some scrambled eggs or a filet, not filet, an omelet rather, I will take some chunks of frozen avocado and pour it in there. And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to pour it in the pan like that and add some bacon grease. <laughs> I know it's... it's it is fat, but I like to save my bacon grease because um, it's, you know, I just like using bacon grease other than just olive oil all the time. And um, it's just more convenient because my bacon provides me with fat that I can easily just transfer over and use it and reuse it over and over. So I got some bacon fat and I'm just going to go ahead and add it. And then I like to season it up, you know, with a little bit of onion powder and garlic and all of that to make it taste good. So we're just gonna let that cook, and it gives it a nice fresh taste. Um, then you can just put that on your taco as well as tomatoes and whatever else you like to go on your tacos. These are individually quick frozen avocado chunks, always ripe, always ready. It's 190 calories. It's um, as far as potassium, it's 380 milligrams, which is a really good amount of potassium because um, that's what I try to strive for. And Though I don't eat, I'm not eating a whole bag, I probably should eat the whole bag so I can get my potassium in for the day because you need a whole lot of potassium um, to keep things functioning the way they should to keep yourself from being depleted, you know, over time. So I will have some of this and yeah. So you guys, the avocado is basically frying up in the bacon grease and Taco meat is ready, and we got some taco shells, just some regular taco shells, and that's what we're going to have, along with some taco, taco, some greens. Um, I probably should cut some onions up, because I know hubby's going to probably want some. So I'm going to go ahead and cut some onions, let me get the onions out. some soft taco shell, soft taco shell, soft tortillas. Um, most likely hubby's gonna have 
tortilla. Uh, Keno is going to have the hard shell tacos. These right here. So I'm just going to let her heat them up when she's ready to eat them. Because right now nobody's going to eat them. You know, nobody's ready to eat. Um, hubby's not here right now. so But the food is ready. So when he gets back, everybody can just, you know, fix their food. And, um, you know, and eat. So that is what I made for our lunch today and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.